Time to give T-Mac a second chance. Let's see if he can win just one playoff series his entire career. All right, we got Shaq MVP. T-Mac made all NBA first team. Not bad. We got the Magic as the four seed. He dropped the cool 29, 6, and 6. And we got to play Michael Jordan in the first round. Tough matchup. Well, T-Mac, you just accomplished more than you did in your entire career. Finally got that playoff series win. Let's keep it going. And now we got to play his cousin in the second round. I guess he got a little too excited about winning one playoff series. You got to, again, you got to play the second one, T-Mac. And the Mavs win the championship. Dirk finals MVP. We should have tanked for LeBron. This team sucks. Let's see what happens. We got Shaq going back to back. And LeBron on the Heat, look at that. T-Mac now on second team. Who'd he lose it over? He lost it over Jason Kidd and Kobe. And the Magic are the best team in the Eastern Conference. Hopefully they play like it. Because as I said before, this team sucked. It's been all T-Mac. And we got Jason Terry and the Hawks the first round. We're going to get by them in a gentleman sweep. And now we have our first matchup of LeBron versus T-Mac. We're down two, 35 seconds left, but up 3-2 in the series. T-Mac trying to drive to the basket. Nothing really there for him. Don't force nothing. Get out of that pay. You're going to get three seconds in the pay. Oh my God. What is that shot? Who is this guard? He looks like he's five foot one boy oh is this earl boykins oh my god okay down three right here t-mac trying to drive on lebron nowhere to go forces up a low <laughs> he got that to go well t-mac here's your last chance he gets to the grand hill grand hill giving it to williams williams to oh okay like we're just not gonna get a shot here t-mac from three misses it and we will have a game seven and it looks like that game didn't matter because we're going to the conference finals t-mac playing big 45 5 and 5 now we got ray allen in the bucks got a two-point game up three two Coo coach gonna use the screen you're gonna pull a fadeaway three we're in 2003 can we just stop with the cheesy threes and now t-mac got randomly fouled with 27 seconds left because 2k still hasn't fixed this yet oh my god Coo coach from three and it's off Coo just sold this game single-handedly for them we have t-mac versus shaq and kobe there's no no way he wins this and t-mac completes a 3-1 comeback to win the championship this team is so bad he's celebrating with mike miller not that mike miller is a bad player i just don't think you can win a championship with him as your second best player but t-mac just got himself the greatest ring of all time i mean kobe did what he had to do man shaq only had 14 points just to start a 3-1 comeback they blew them out in game five blew them out here in game six and then they blew them out here in game seven pretty crazy let's see if t-mac and mike miller can go back to back and t-mac got himself an mvp and we got to play the nets in the first round as the one seed we're gonna get out of here in six games and now we got to play Gilbert Arenas and the Cavs. I guess they weren't in the draft for 2003. And Gilbert Arenas is just going to drop us off. Okay. 3-1 comeback on Shaq and Kobe. But yeah, Gilbert Arenas is where we draw the line. How did T-Mac get a ring with this team? I mean, that makes no sense, bro. He's got three years left here. T-Mac is taking advantage of this second chance, man. He's not letting this slip. And we're the first seed again, taking on the Hawks in the first round. That's going to go ahead and be a gentleman sweep. We got round two versus LeBron. And yeah, we're just going to sweep LeBron. Okay. Oh, but watch out now. Gilbert Arenas is coming here in the conference finals. Just got to hold on here. T-Mac with the ball here. Driving it. Oh, Gauss and throws it down four point game arenas with one last chance here pulls a contested three nice shot man arenas with the ball here gonna pull a contested three again misses it rebound davis davis with the board puts it back up and in we got a three point game arenas with the ball here gives it to davis davis with a contested mid he misses it and the magic are going back to the finals t-mac was bad in this game and look at gilbert arenas with 39 7 and 10 this may be a tougher team than that shaq and kobe team we got to play the spurs well never mind they're gonna get him out here in six and t-mac is a two time I'm champion. I don't know how he keeps leading Kirk Heinrich to NBA championships, but go ahead, man. Keep at it. This man averaged 48 and 7 in the finals. He is unstoppable. He might be a top 10 talent in NBA history, man. It was just the injuries and some disappointing playoff matchups, and he would easily be in that conversation, but it just, you know, it is what it is. But he's making the most of his second chance right now. And now here comes LeBron to win it 14 times in a row. And he still has the magic as the best team in the league. I'm actually shocked he didn't win MVP. Put up 33, 6, and 6. That's some bad luck, though. I'm not gonna lie. We gotta play Chauncey Billups and the Pistons in the first first round and that's gonna go ahead and be a gentleman sweep now we gotta play chris bosh and the bulls okay and that's gonna be another gentleman sweep ray allen's still on this team with michael red the dedication's there and t-max just gonna curb stomp his way to the nba finals where we're gonna play memphis and oh god it's d-way look out for those foul calls we got a tie game in game seven what will t-mac do here gonna use the screen gonna pull a deep fadeaway three he knocks it down that was the clutchest shot of t-max life a bad pass by simmons t-mac gonna get the ball again you're gonna try to drive to the basket pulls from three oh my god <laughs> he's got ice in his veins they're going back to the same well another turnover from simmons and mike miller's going to the line never mind they have fouls to give if he makes this it's over and he put it in and tracy mcgrady becomes a three-time champion did Dwayne wade foul out he didn't foul out he just wasn't in the game he's making the most of this second chance we got one year left on the magic possibly lebron going back to back we've had the one seed like five years in a row these look like mvp numbers to me man i don't know how lebron keeps winning it we got to play Kyle Lowry and Paul Pierce in the Celtics. And for some reason, this 
win seven games, but we got it done. How did this team beat LeBron? They're in the second round. We we're supposed to play LeBron. And we had to go through another seven game series. Mike Miller bailing us out with 30 points. And now we got to play Gilbert Arenas again. <laughs> Why do we keep running into him? I like how this was the toughest team we've played so far, and we're just going to gentlemen sweep them. And now we have a rematch versus Dwayne Wade and Paul Gasol in the finals. We got a puncher's chance here in game seven. Oh my gosh. Shane Batty, a wide open, knocks it down. That might be the dagger. Wade trying to dance on T Mac, pulls it through. Oh my god, that was nasty. T Mac wide open. If anyone's going to come back here, it's T Mac. Oh, that's bad. Oh, this man shot 13 free throws. It is 2006 all over again. And T Mac decided to leave the magic, and here comes the White Howard. This might go down as the nastiest duo of all time KD and T Mac in the garden. It don't matter what T Mac does, LeBron just has this. And T Mac fell down the second team. How is Orlando still? Oh, I guess they got the White Howard, but still. All right, well, we're the fifth seed. And I guess the ball's got to go around because KD's here, so he's not going to be averaging as much. And we got to play Stoudemire in the first round. All right, let's not blow this game seven. Odom with the ball here, going to use the screen, going to fade away from three. Like, why does every player just love taking that shot? And we have a two point game. KD at the line here with 27 seconds. Oh, man. Kevin Durant choking in his younger years. Lamar Odom going to use the screen here, going to fade from three again. Like, why are you just trolling? How is this team even in the playoffs? This team is terrible. Well, they somehow took us six games, but we got it done. And we keep seeing this Bucks team with Ray Allen and Michael Red. They won't give up. And this might be the first time they beat us? Yeah, it might be. Oh my god, T-Mac choked. Two for 16? If T-Mac just waits for KD to turn into a superstar, this team is gonna be nasty. Wow, T-Mac actually beat LeBron for MVP. And the Knicks are the first seed playing LeBron, I'm assuming, as long as he's still there. I wanna see what KD did. He dropped 26, 7, and 5, and T-Mac dropped 32. Yeah, this is nasty. And we have Ginobili on the team. And this team does still have LeBron. Probably why they didn't win MVP, because they're the eighth seed. And we're gonna get LeBron out of here in six games. I don't think he's beat us yet. Now we got the Hawks in the second round. Gilbert Arenas again. We're trying to stay alive. Down 3-2. Come on, T-Mac. We need something here. Driving right to the basket. Makes it a three-point game. Ben Gordon gonna use the screen here. They're not fouling. Gives it to How. Goes up for the layup. Makes it. Still a five-point game. Well, we got one last chance here. KD from three. Oh my god, that's a brick. Yeah, there's no way. Gilbert finally got the best of us, man. I'm not sure if he ever beat us, but I'm, I think this is the first time. And the Warriors win the championship. Andrea Bargnat. Are you serious? And the Knicks signed Chris Bot. Okay, we are not losing. LeBron's now in Chicago winning MVPs. And now we're the fifth seed with Chris Bosh, but we were the one seed without him last year. It's going to be almost impossible for him to win MVP with Chris Bosh and Durant on the team. This Celtic team actually got pretty good. Well, not good enough. We're taking them down in six. Now we got to play the one seed Raptors with Mike Conley, Kirilenko, and Stoudemire. We got a three point game in game seven. Durant with the ball here, going to pull up the mid range, makes it one point game. They put Monte Ellis on the line. First free throw up, and it's off. Second free throw up for Ellis, and he might have missed that one too. He misses them both. Kevin Durant with 10 seconds left, driving, pull up midi. Makes it! We got the one-point lead. No timeouts for Toronto. Five seconds left. Conley, what's he gonna do here? Because he give it to Stoudemire. Stoudemire in the post. Gotta go to work. Post fade! Misses it, and the Knicks are going to the conference finals. What a shot by Durant, man. I was hoping they gave it to T-Mac, but KD showed up and knocked it down. And now we have a rematch versus LeBron. And I like how we just gentlemen sweep LeBron. That's crazy. And now we got a tough Spurs team in the finals. Well, I guess they weren't so tough because that's going to be a sweep, and the Knicks are your NBA champions. KD getting finals MVP. T-Mac is now a four-time champion, and he's got one year left on the Knicks. LeBron getting MVP, and the Knicks are the one seed. T-Mac, Durant, and Bosh all putting up good numbers. And we got the Hawks in the first first round. No Gilbert. That's going to be an easy sweep. We got a rematch versus the Raptors. We got a tie game with 14 seconds left. Up 3-2. And we have T-Mac on the line right now. He might have smoked that. Oh, man. Let's see if the Raptors can get revenge here. Seven seconds left. Forces a turnover. Five seconds left. They got to get it down the court. Three seconds left. You got to get up a shot. Something. One second. Griffin from a deep three. And we're going to overtime. And we're going to smoke him here in overtime. And T-Mac with a casual 50 piece. Nothing special. And we got to play Derek Rose in the conference finals. Well, that's tough, buddy. Going out in a Sweep. And now we gotta play Chris Paul and Dirk. That's a nasty duo. Well, not nasty enough because that's gonna be a sweep. And T Mac is a five time NBA champion. And T Mac stayed on the Knicks for four more years. Look at that. He's got a real shot to become the GOAT. Let's see if he can do it. LeBron getting another MVP. And the Knicks are the fifth seed. I think this might be the first time someone averaged more points than T Mac on the same team. KD dropping 27. And this Celtic team just keeps getting better. Well, not good enough. We got him out of here in seven. We got another great matchup versus this tough Raptors team. And we're gonna get them out of here in six games. They've been so 
so close to beating us, man. They just haven't gotten it done. And the fifth seed Knicks are going back to the finals. T Mac with a casual 46, 6, and 9. Bosch with 36, 21, and 5. And now we got a rematch versus Chris Paul and Dirk. And that's gonna be a gentleman sweep. This is nasty. And Chris Bosch won finals MVP, dropping 34 and 10. All T Mac's gotta do is win one more ring, and he is the undisputed GOAT. What's he won? Like four in a row? And T Mac didn't even make an NBA team. That's the first time this whole video. Knicks got the four seed. And the second year in a row, KD outscoring T Mac. This Boston team's still getting good. And as I've said for the hundredth time, not good enough. We've got our fourth matchup in a row versus the Raptors. And the Raptors almost got him here in game seven, but they're gonna get blown out. Durant dropping 40, 10, and 7. Back with a rematch. Oh my god, this team is stacked. Well, not stacked enough. That'll be a gentleman sweep. And we gotta play Kevin Love and Brandon Jennings in the finals. This might be our worst finals opponent. And that's gonna be a gentleman sweep making Tracy McGrady the greatest player of all time. T Mac with 35, 9, and 9 in this game. And he also got finals MVP dropping 33, 7, and 8. Well, there's not much left to sim because he's already become the undisputed GOAT. So I'm gonna send to his retirement and we're gonna look over all of his stats and accolades. And T Mac's officially retired in Atlanta. He averaged 27, 6, and 7 for his entire career. He was a five time MVP, a seven time champion, and a 12 time first team all NBA. And his career high was 63. He's first in points all time, second in threes, second in free throws, 45th in rebounds, fifth in assists, and he's ninth in steals. Looks like T Mac took all that talent and became the greatest of all time. Goodbye.